Hello, and welcome to another BNT unboxing video. Today we are taking another look at the GameCube uh, disc not being read issue. On my first video, a lot of people commented, asked, were angry, whatever, uh, that I didn't use the voltmeter. At the time, I did not know about the voltmeter method, and thus I did not use it. Um, I've since come to hear about the voltmeter method, and we're going to go over how to do that. Um, and what range of a, um, not a volt, but um, ohms. If you're looking for ohms, uh, my voltmeter happens to actually be able to read ohms as well. Um, if, you, if yours has this emblem right here, then your uh, device will also read ohms of, a device, of an item. Um, so you do need that, a standard voltmeter. A basic voltmeter will not work. Um, they'll just take pulls, and that's not what we need. Um, as you can see, I have a GameCube with the cover already off. Uh, all the screws have already been pre-removed. If you want to know what screws to remove and how to remove them and all that stuff, reference the first video. Um, I realized that one was way too long, trying to make this one a little bit shorter and to the point. Probably won't happen, but right at this point, all the screws, are, perimeter screws have been removed. We're going to remove the fan, and then we'll remove the the main dry unit. So to move the fan, you just got there's some wires on the side right here. You just need to move them over and pull the cord off, the power cord, or the yeah the power going to the switch. Put it to the side. Uh, there's a few screws over here that will be underneath the fan. Take those off, um, and then this whole assembly will lift up. Um, it's you got a plug right here and it plugs in here on the motherboard. Uh, but this part of the GameCube we do not need. We'll set that to the side. And then you got your bottom plate. Uh, normally there's six screws in here. I only put two back in so we can go a little faster. Um, you get your screwdriver, or if you want to do overkill, a drill. Um, And then remove the plate, the heat shield. Um, so let me find my little pointer. So the device that we want to adjust is right here. And you want to take your ohm meter and touch the top pin and the bottom pin, and that will give you your reading. Um, so I'm going to do that now. Hopefully this comes out clear. Um, I'm trying a new camera mount so everything's it's a little distance away from the work surface. Um, but we're going to try it, see what happens. Um, so what we're looking for is um, a resistance between 150 and 250. Anything below that is not going to work. Anything above that can create damage to the, the disc itself. Um, too much power going to the, the laser. Um, so we're going to again set it to the ohms on the the voltmeter or meter um, and we're going to try and get a measurement. Alright so it looks like we're pulling up about 25, 26. Oh, we hit 30 which is really crappy because we need 150. So we're going to adjust the knob See what you want to do is small increment adjustments. Uh, don't do a complete rotation. That may be way too much. Um, maybe a quarter turn. Check it. And uh, we're gonna go through that and find the sweet spot. All right. So we made some adjustments. Um, two two things to note. Uh, when I did this before starting the video, uh, the voltmeter seemed or the, the meter seemed to be cooperating, um, but now it's not. I don't know if it's going bad or if the Adjustment knob is going bad on the board because I'm getting I'm getting readings from like below like 0.1 ohm up to you know 700 kilo or 700,000 ohms. Uh, so it's very uh, random and violent almost. Um, it might be the meter itself. I really don't know. So I made some uh, minor I mean super small adjustments, um, and I'm going to give it a try to see what happens. Um, but that's how you do it with the voltmeter, with the ohmmeter. Um, 
Unfortunately, mine's not cooperating. It's, yeah, I mean, it's an El Cheapo, so it's not surprising that things aren't gonna work perfectly with it. Um, but you got a, an ohm meter that works right, um, that's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna check the, essentially the, I can get some lighting up here, the top and bottom of the unit and see what's going on. Um, but like I said, I made some very small adjustments, gonna put it back together and we'll see if something displays on screen. Um, All right, we are back um, after replacing some of the battery, or not some, but there's a nine volt better. After replacing the battery, we seem to be getting a little bit more uh, constant, consistent numbers out of the, uh, the meter. So check your batteries, that could be what's going down. Um, I was finally able to get some constant readings, and it looks like maybe the the 4060 might have been a fluke because it it, it was hovering around nine, ten. Um, I've I've given it a couple like a rotation and a half, and it uh, last read it was around 160. Uh, we'll try it again to see if we can get that same reading again. So now it's dropping back down to 30. I'm honestly starting to think that the the laser itself, the whole assembly might have gone bad. Because um, every adjustment I make, it seems like it goes up and then it comes right back down. Um, but we'll, we'll give it one more turn. We'll see what it's saying and then we'll, we'll put it together and see what happens. Um, my best guess, yeah, we're, we're, we've fallen from 160 back down to 30. Um, my guess here is going to be this thing has gone bad. At least the laser assembly, really, yeah, because um, it, it is all over the place. Uh, if that happens to you, um, these used to not be too expensive. I don't know about now. They may actually be a lot of money. They used to be ten, fifteen dollars um, for a working laser assembly. Uh, but we're going. I'm going to just crank it up for the kicks and giggles and see if it reads a disc. If you do this, don't leave the disc on too long because it will damage the disc if you have moved it the, the, the power too high and um, but we're, I, I figured it's bad it's gone um, but thank you for watching on the how to use a meter with it um, hopefully it's provided some type of insight or some mildly entertaining video um, if you have any questions I will do my best to answer them but I'm not an expert at this I just kind of tinker around in the garage um, but thanks for watching. Have a good night. Keep gaming. And if it does work, I'll, I'll throw up the working footage at the end of this video. Have a good night. Bye.